Welcome to the podcast. What are we calling it? Um, what do you want to call it? Call it, uh, uh, we could call it, um, let go, let go of my end. <laughs> I'm writing that. It sounds like um, uh, I guess I'll say it. We're pretty much live here. We're yep. uh, yep. so fade yep. in with the so fade and we're and we're in. We're Welcome inside. Back, folks. We took a 13 day hiatus there between yeah. the Uncle Jack episode and the one before that. So sorry. Hey. Oh, it's all right. Check this out. I got I got one of these. Ooh, what's that? It's like a stable cam. It's a steady cam for your iPhone. So oh, it's like shit. you can do like almost like drone level like smoothness, you know what I mean? But like with the oh, iPhone. Yeah. yeah, that'd be sick, dude. You got a, you got a good iPhone too, right? You got the 13? Uh I have the 12 Pro, which has Pro. 4K 60 frames. So could you do something really good with this? I can do something really good with this. I can nice. I I could like shoot like my friend. I could <laughs> go shoot my friend. Yeah, with this like new uh, state of the art steady cam, I could shoot my friend in real life, real time. I could shoot him. Ha 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 Oh, that's awesome. I was gonna. I feel like uh, I, need so... a, I need a bite of food. You need a little bite of food. Yeah, you should get a little bite. I had some macaroni and meat sauce. Oh, is that a bag of nuts? bag of nuts i was gonna say your the song the intro song sounds a lot like um daft punk's television rules the nation and like a little bit of killers okay that's pretty cool though well, yeah. okay I'll, I'll take that and i understand that you're making friends of me so i don't really like that yeah you should cheek your nuts in your mouth just cheek them in there. <laughs> Don't chew, just start cheeking them in there. And it just gets bigger and bigger. And then you kind of start sounding like this. That could be fun, right? Well, I they do that just to like hold food for later. I think they do. I think they just cram in as much food as they possibly can. But then I think they eat it afterwards. So I don't know. Chipmunks. Here's a weird thing. Yeah, it's like really weird. Have you ever noticed when you uh, see like an animal stuff their face with nuts, stuff their cheeks with nuts? Have you ever Ch seen that? Chimp, chimp monks. Chimp, yeah. Oh, chimp <laughs> monks. Yeah. Stuff their cheeks with nuts. So I'm saying that five times. Uh, yeah. yeah, chick, chick monks. <laughs> Hey, look at all those chick mumps. Chick mumps. <laughs> they're chicks with mumps. Yeah, they're, or they're like hot chicks and they got mumps. Or they're, the, I think like chick mumps are like little chicks, like little like hot babes. And they're like running around. They got, what the hell? Who's been getting into my feed? Oh, it's chick mumps. Chick mumps. I hate those. I hate those. I hate those. All right, the Uncle Jack episode is live on TV. It's live oh, on air. That's going to be a fun one to watch over when you're like, I excuse me, guys? <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, I'm laughing because it's like, there comes, you'll see it where I'm just like, I'm laughing because I know it's useless. <laughs> it's, it's crazy the kind of energy Johnny Jack brings. Like, he brings like this assertive, like, hey, ah, I'm here. Ah! And like, when he's like here, it's like hard to dismiss that or like kind of channel it into something else. Like this is a little bit more of a structure and it was very, you know, I'll take blame because I was feeding into it, but that's only because his, his energy is so um, infectious, I guess. 
dominating, if you will. No, Johnny's awesome. I, it has nothing to do with them. Um... I hate him. No, hate no, him. no. It has nothing to do with um, energy. It was just, it's a, uh, just kind of like disregarding you. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, it's just like do everything you're doing, but like do it to the camera. That's right. All. We were not. We were just like, uh, yeah, remember that one time? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh, so, you know, what's your deal? You said you were watching Succession. Yeah. Mike's been badgering me about this for months now to watch Succession. And uh, I finally got on the train. And I'll tell you, I don't want to get off. Yeah, it's fun as shit. And it's like, um, it's like three seasons you got to go through. That's awesome. How many episodes each? Like 10. And then Ooh. the fourth about later this year. So you're oh, kind of like, boy. oh, my little guy. <laughs> <laughs> my little baby guy. My little no, baby God. Was Ronnie also watching it or you were just being brave? I was being brave. I don't think she wants to watch it. So this morning when it was raining, I'm like, I'll take a look at this. And I'm like, oh, shoot, I can see it. Opens up with the old man just like, Whoa, where am I? What's going on here? And he's just like taking a pee on his carpet. That would uh, be pretty cool. Like have your own house and you could just pee on the floor. Yeah, you could have you could have your grown house and you're a grown man taking a grown-ass pee on the ground. I forget if we've already said it in this podcast. Like... <clears throat> Maybe before the video days, but like I've pooped in my room in a bag. We must have yeah. talked about that. I also have done that. I've also pooped in your room in a bag. Yeah. And proceeded to carry that poop with me a block and a half down to throw to get rid of it. <laughs> because like, holy- apparently Mike thought it wouldn't have been a good idea for me to just throw it in his garbage can. <laughs> Or better yet, I could have taken the bag and after whoever was done in the bathroom, I could have just poured the poop into the car, into the into the toilet and flushed it. Massages the poop out like a toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, massaging out like a cake decorator, just like. <laughs> but uh, no, I had to carry it with me, a block and a half, and it looked like I was just carrying like a bag of be- like a bag of chili. Well, the important thing to know is that we didn't do that because we were bored. We did that because we had to shit and someone was in the bathroom. There's only one bathroom in this house, so that one person was taking a very long time. I won't name any names, but I had to go really bad. And Mike's like, here, here's a plastic bag. Here's a crate. So he lined the crate with a plastic bag and he left the room and I just went, I went wild in there. Yeah, well, (laughs) yeah. I had done it before, and I knew it worked. <laughs> um, yeah, I knew that it worked, so I shared that idea with my friend. Yeah. One of my roommates couldn't care less. The other one at the time really was upset that I had done that. Shame. Thought, Downright despicable with you. Yeah, but that's okay. He's yeah, entitled. Where, where, yeah, he's entitled to his opinion. Where would it? Where would have you? Where would have you gone? Would you have like had to run outside and like try to find a public restroom in New York City? Doubt it, my guy. Doubt it. Then it's not good for you to hold in your dump. No, or your farts. I've learned that the hard way. In middle school and high school, I always held my farts, and then I'm like realizing like that's not good for your body. Like you could like rupture your insides if you hold too much gas in. You know, like you gotta let it out. You gotta let that baby out. Yeah, you could explode. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> one day you're just sitting down, and next thing you know, you exploded because of all that 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 gas that you've held in for years. You know, that, all that man, all that pre dump, all that pre dump air. You know, that pre dunk air. Yeah, that real pre, that pre dunk air, man. Um, yeah, so I watched Succession. I thought it was good. I didn't finish it yet, but I will. Um, how was? How is your, you were doing some interesting things when you want to, maybe you want to talk about that. <laughs> maybe you want to talk about that kind of stuff. What is it? You had a, you had a call with somebody and you were maybe doing something cool. Oh, I had an audition for Budweiser. No, not Budweiser, but. Butt Light? Yeah, I had a Butt Light. <laughs> How was that? Did it on a phone? Interesting. Yeah, like over Zoom. 
a lot of like almost all the auditions I've done since the pandemic have been over Zoom. That's pretty um, cool. Comfort of your own home. Yeah, it's okay. It's it's definitely I find Different it to be. I think it's more difficult because like. I don't know. There's a different energy when you're in the room and it's like, it's time to perform. When I'm in front of like my, my phone camera and there's a person like, it's hard. It's hard to like gauge how they're feeling their energy. You can't pick, you can't pick it up. I can like look at their face and hear them. I can like look at their face and hear them, but I can't, it's different when you're like physically next to someone and like, you have to improvise. They, um, so they made me do two scenes. I think the first scene I did really well. The second scene, I don't think I did really bad. I think I did okay, but the first scene was way better. It was like, it was a lot of improv. They're like, okay, so check this out. You and your dad. So I was auditioning with another guy on Zoom, who was my dad. He's like, you and your dad show up to this guy's house to watch the game, but you show up at 10 in the morning and the game is until six at night. Or no, you show up at 6 a.m. in the morning and the game is until six at night. And, you know, you show up with your dad and we're just going to improvise. I'm like, okay. And so the director is like, hey, so, you know, why are you here so early? The game's not till later. And I'm like, well, last time we ran out of Bud Light, so I'm trying to get here super early. (laughs) And then... Ran out of Bud Light. (laughs) Ran out of Bud Light. And then... uh, and then they were like, who's this with you? And I'm like, oh, that's my dad. He's super chill. He drinks uh, ginger ale. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> and then the guy, the other actor was like, yep, I brought my own case of ginger ale. All good. And then um, and then I was like, yeah, and he's like a full-blown dad. You know, he'll like mow your lawn or organize your shoes, whatever you need. <laughs> whatever um, you need. That's good. Nice. Yeah, so I thought. I thought that was good. But then the second scene was like, okay, so you're at the party and you're just kind of looking around and you're talking and uh, you're talking about other people at the party. And then uh, the actor was like, hey, um, uh, who's that guy? He looks interesting. And I was like, oh, that's Jeff. He's, he just got out of prison. And then, and then the, the dad was like, oh, uh, what was he volunteering or something? I'm like, no, no, he was, he was in prison. He was serving time. Something yeah. about a part in a fire. <laughs> and, <laughs> right, um, yeah, I guess I just, I feel like it wasn't as good because it's like, probably just shouldn't bring up prison, but like, uh, <laughs> but they want to, uh, they probably just want to see what you could do, but yeah, go ahead. And then the other part, the dad actor was like, Hey, so do you want me to, uh, you want me to go get you something? I'm like, yeah, can I get three cheese cubes? And he's like, what? he's like, you want Swiss cheddar? I'm like, whatever the dark yellow one is. And then he was like, okay, with pimento or not? And uh, and then he's like, you know what happened last time? You had too much pimento. And then he started chuckling. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I stole it from that guy's house. It was weird. <laughs> like, I, like that was the line that I felt like probably sunk my ship because it was like, <laughs> he's, that was like a good setup on his part he's like you know what happened last time you had pimento and i'm like yeah i stole <laughs> from that guy's house it was weird yeah <laughs> he teed you up very nicely yeah and you just you just uh you wolfed it down i mean maybe the way that you delivered it was still funny i mean you don't know you don't know anything i didn't <laughs> yeah but you know i don't know we'll see that's funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I killed the guy. <laughs> with no. You remember what happened last time with Pimento? Uh, yeah, I shit myself in your dad's house, Grandpa. <laughs> That'd be much better if you said that. I shit myself in your dad's house, my grandpa's house. <laughs> and said it like that. I shit myself at your dad's house, my grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good. I would have given you the job. Yeah, shit. You're hard. I hope they call you back and be like, "All right, man, we'll give you another shot." And you're like, "All right, I won't blow this." Okay, okay I won't. This is how you just <laughs> okay. I won't, I won't blow this for you. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> you're like this close. Yeah, could you move yeah. back a little bit? Okay, sure. <laughs> no, the whole like, like the camera down. Yeah, let go of the camera when you move back. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You're not doing it. <laughs> yeah, he's doing it. That's awesome. That's life, man. Hey, no way. Hey, get the hell out of you, kid. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Why don't you get the hell off me? Now. <laughs> oh, my God. Gaff, dude. See, you got to let it out. Better out than in the aisle, you see. <laughs> right, Fiona? Right, Donkey? You know they're rebooting that? They're making another Shrek? Right, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> right, doggy. Yeah, Shrek is me, doggy. I'm doggy, Shrek. <laughs> Come on, Shrek. Get the hell up, Shrek. They're, uh, yeah, they're doing a Shrek reboot. And I think the only one that's confirmed is Eddie Murphy. Wow. Any Murphy, any a- any any Mur- any Murdy, any any Murphy, just any, any Murphy around. Yeah, yeah. They, should, I don't know why they. It's over. Cash <laughs> grab. It's over. Yeah, it's Shrek. They went. They did five Shrek movies and like a bunch of different like spinoffs. So like, come on, you could drop. You could drop the act Shrek. Shrek. Come on, Shrek. They're just probably going to retell the same story again, but like just with different people, I guess. There's still probably be a Lord Fark Fark word, <laughs> a Lord Fark word. I don't give a shit. That's why we got to put our shit out there. Lord Fart Dog. <laughs> Lord <laughs> Lord Fart Dog. It's I, Lord Fart Dog. Fart as dog. good as gone. And the squatters. <laughs> and the squatters. <laughs> and the squirters. He, he moved, and he signed an eviction notice. And the squirters. Uh, as good as gone. And the squirters. Yeah. And the squirters. <laughs> hey, uh, can I get a squirter? Hey, man, can I get a squirter? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you, you happen to have an extra squirter on you? You know, like. A quarter, a, a squirter. Uh, I don't know. I'm putting my laundry away. We're technically squirters for a while. You were, your people were squirters. No, we were squirters. We were squatters. We were squatting for like. There was like a year where we, we didn't pay any rent. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Rent, and they were like, "You better pay us fucking rent." We were like, "No, it's okay." <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Yeah, I guess you were supporters, huh? We were supporters, but it was justified. It was ju- it was junkstified. What was you the junkstification? The junkstification. Fuck you. Ah. Yeah, fuck you. We got um, zero in the chat. Nobody? That's all right. This is a weird time, right? Three o'clock in the after, dude. Yeah, like, huh? is anybody out there? We're, we're talking about stuff on the internet. We're hey, stop- guys. We're talking about Duff on the internet. We're talking about Duff. Hey, guys, <laughs> where's the jelly? <laughs> guys, there's no jelly in here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys, there's no jelly in here. Hey, guys, I, I can't find the jelly anywhere. Where is the jelly? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, guys, where are the burgers at? It's me, Bob, for Bob's Burgers. Where, where are they all at? Now, you know? There's no burger in here. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's no burger in here. I don't get it. There's no burger in here. Oh, man. Yeah, wow. so, like, I'm, like, roaming through Twitch right now, and all these, roaming. like, all these internet babes have, like, these microphones with the ears on them and they're just like Why? they're just like licking licking ears and how many people are watching that please tell me a lot like one like two thousand a couple two thousands a six thousand you just know what it is fifteen thousand just for licking the fucking ear it's because they like see a girl and they're like hoping praying that like she gets naked on accident. You think so? That's what it is. I bet they're just like straight up watching, and then they like 
they're already jer- they're like jerking off like looking at the internet like just going through different tabs and then yeah. as they actually land on this one like they just like they like the screen loads and oh! <laughs> screen load <laughs> like the screen loads yeah the screen loads up and like just as the image pops up they they're like they've already gotten too excited so they bust by the time they get there and then they just kind of watch for a second and clean up yeah or they just yeah. sit in there for a minute and they're just like and then they fall what? asleep <laughs> yeah. they pass out yeah they, they side they side chin it they pass out with their dunk in their hand <laughs> with their sticky dunk in their hand <laughs> You know, you ever, I, never, I never drove and like touched my dunk in my in my uh, my Ford. I only did that in the Mazda. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, traffic uh, light cameras of you. <laughs> Just driving, <laughs> yeah, Duncan hand. I know you said this before, but that's hilarious. Just like looking left and right, guys like the car at me. <laughs> Just like making sure no one sees me. It always has to be like an aggressive Tokyo drift turn. <laughs> we or like, the- sometimes I would pull over and like just like double park somewhere and. <laughs> oh my god! Dude. No like you had to. Like, like a robot, like I like <laughs> went to a spot and then just like adjust the seat and then like <laughs> like one fluid motion like I wouldn't think about it just like <laughs> you just get a tissue clean it off and then drive <laughs> oh, and drive <laughs> you'd peel out of a spot <laughs> tires screeching burning rubber on pavement <laughs> <laughs> if you were if you're somebody on the street watching that it's like <laughs> this car, car pulled over for 10 seconds and then sped away <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think i saw him throw like a napkin out the window <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> one fluid motion yeah. just all impulse not yeah not even thinking about it you're driving somewhere and then out of nowhere just <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I would go move somebody or clean somebody's house. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so awesome if like that because there's that one time when you were pulling out of like it was me and Tyler watching you pulling. <laughs> it would been great if that's what you were doing while that was happening. <laughs> and that's why like, I Yeah, you for the people at home. Uh, you were like driving a truck, a van. Like, do you remember what it was? Yeah, it was like a big moving van. Yeah, and you were pulling out of the parking lot, <laughs> and you slowly scraped along a car. I ripped a hole in it. Was a, yeah, it was a hole. And it then was, it was- I got out of the car and I looked. Some guy walking down was like, "That's really bad." <laughs> Yeah, and we were just like, we're getting the hell out of here. You got to do something about that. That's really bad. And I was like, I know. I'll figure something out. He's like, you better. And then we just left. Yeah, we were driving your car. We were driving the Mazda, Tyler and I, and we were following you in the uh, in the van. But it would have been funny know. if the story was because you were, you know, <laughs> ripping one out. <laughs> well, Pete, I called Pete my mom, and I'll – Listen, I was an adult. I was a legal adult. I yeah. should responsibility for my actions, but I did. I sought the advice of my parental units at the time, and they both were a lot of Go because they because they they asked like, did anyone see? And you're like, just like that one guy. But it's like, and they were like, is that the owner of the car? No. And they're like, then go, leave now. Hey, so I won't make you feel alone. When I was doing catering, I was out. I had to go down to Chelsea to pick up the van, like the 15 passenger van. And it was parallel parked in between two other cars. And it was like, I don't know, eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I go into the, I go in the van. I look both ways. <laughs> I back up 
but I accelerate too hard. So I just bash into the car right in behind me. And I just fucking, and like I shook and I looked outside and there was a guy, uh, he was like, Oh damn. And I <laughs> the fuck out. I left. I was like, ah. that guy was like, Oh damn. That's sick. <laughs> Yeah, I felt so bad. There was nothing bad up about the van in the back of, of the one I was driving, but I couldn't tell you what that other car looked like. So I admit that I did something bad before driving. Well, the, I think the reasoning, the reasoning that like my folks gave me at the time of like why to leave. And I mean, in, in your case, I know no one advised you, but like their advice was like, it's New York City. It happens to everybody. Just go. Just go with it. Because, like, we've had cars, like, when Pete was alive, things would happen on our block where it's, like, in the middle of the night, someone, like, hit, Pete had a Jeep and, like, somebody, like, broke into his Jeep and stole his radio. Like, they just broke the window and stuff. and Or, like, a drunk driver sideswiped a bunch of cars and broke the, uh, the fucking mirrors on the side Damn. and stuff. So, it's, like, time logic. Their logic is just, like, crazy shit happens. So, like, just go yeah don't yeah it, it, it's karma you know because like you'll do it and then something will happen to yours and it's like all right that balance itself out obviously yeah. if the person is there and like that's like their car yeah you'll deal with it but like if no one's there in new york city that place is a fucking jungle you know like people double park everywhere you're not supposed to be doing that people do it all the time just get the hell out just get the hell out of there you know? it, everyone it's drives like that It's definitely an. I'm sorry. Go uh, ahead. No, I, I don't like a lot of the. I'm both happy that I don't drive or don't have a car anymore, but I also wish I did have a car. I guess I just wish I had a significantly better car. Yeah, that's understand. That's understandable. Me too. My my freaking car like has a blown head gasket, so I can't drive it. So what is that? So that's like I think it has something to do with like the radiator. It's like not, it's not able to cool down the car, and so it just like overheats and it stalls. Mm. I think that's it's a core like, it's bad. It, it sucks. I'm 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 funged. It's like a thousand to two thousand dollar fix. Yeah, yeah. I think in 2021, last year, like. In that one year, I spent, I easily spent like 5,000 bucks, if not more, on the car alone. Um, and I don't really have money like that. So that was like a really, that, like each time I felt like my soul was like being ripped out of my chest. Like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. So you get this fucking like shitty car to, to keep going for like another week. What do you got? Cookies over there? Yeah, I got this. The what are they called? Samoas. I have very yummy cookies. I got really yummy cookies, and you can't have any. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Good night. <laughs> night, night. Can I have it? Sorry. Hello. Um. Yeah. 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 Reddit, Reddit got something over here. We got zero viewers in the live stream. That's okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, staying positive on this one. We're so happy. We're just so happy to be alive. Really happy about this. Thank you very much. Super, super duper. <laughs> um, really super duper. I've been. Uh, yeah, I have. I have a bunch of AMC. I have 120 AMC now. You exceeded it. Nice, man. Yeah. You're putting your eggs in those baskets. I still have 10. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just, now my next goal is 200. <laughs> like, if I can get to 200 before things get crazy, cool. That'd be cool. Um, I mean, right now you're in a good boat if things start to start happening. Yeah, I really want. Um, I would love for it to get to at least like if we could get to ten thousand. Oh my gosh! I would cry. I'd literally like. I'd be like, "This is amazing. This is the best thing that ever happened in my life." 
I okay. sell it immediately. Sell, sell, sell. Go, go, go. That'll cause craziness, man. Crazy. That would be a hundred thousand, right? Dude, I have one hundred thousand, brother. What are you gonna do with all that cash? Hey, brother. What are you gonna do with all that ass? <laughs> <laughs> you got a hundred thou worth of ass. What are you going to do with all that? Well, that's a good question. A hundred thousand is like, it's a lot of money. It's not all of the money though. So it's no. like a hundred thousand is an interesting amount. I think a hundred is maybe a little more than what I need to pay off all of my student debt and my mom's student debt. I think altogether, I have like forty thousand dollars worth of debt, and my mom has like fifty. So all right, so a hundred thousand. Like, if I didn't want to keep any of it, it would just clear us of debt. Well, dude, I'm um, <clears throat> Ronnie, and I have been looking. I probably mentioned this. They already do it in Maryland and Illinois, but for first time homeowner like buyers like they will clear up to forty thousand dollars of your student debt and all you got to do really is just like buy a house there and be contracted for five years in that house and then technically you own or you owe like the state money but once that five years is cleared up like you're good to go um how does that so so i think the way that ronnie read it because we're looking at it because i think maine is beginning to think about doing this mm. that um it's for first time home buyers i'm pretty sure <clears throat> not to mention i think like joe biden already you know he had passed something about like helping first time homeowners like a 15 percent or something like that but on top of that so certain states maryland illinois and potentially now maine will mm. cover up to forty thousand dollars of your student debt they will pay your student debt off you just buy a house stay there within or stay there at least for five years. And then I'm pretty sure like that debt that you have towards the state is gone. And like, now you have this house, you're giving the state money because you're working a job. I think that's the whole purpose behind they want, they need people to come up to like Maine, Maryland, Illinois to work jobs because I guess, you know, the job situation, people are not working, I guess, or they're being a little stingy about it. I don't know. That's essentially the deal. Maryland's not that far. Where is Maryland? Maryland, Maryland is like three hours away. Yeah, but I'd rather go to Maine. Maine is my spot. Yeah, Vacation but, state. but Bald- Baltimore. Baltimore? Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, Maryland. Would you want to live there? I've been to before. I've been to Maryland, like, I went there for, like, a weekend, or, like, a week. I've gotten um, uh, some interesting scenarios in Ocean City, Maryland. Oops. Um, oops. <laughs> Cannot speak of that. <laughs> One gets to go. It's good as I. It's good as I. It's, yeah, it's, like, three to four hours of a drive. And then, if Baltimore, you're, like, a <laughs> lot Washington. <laughs> yeah, deep. you're right the Washington DC if you live in Voldemort. <laughs> yeah, drive to Washington DC from Voldemort is an hour and a half. That should be a place in Maryland, Vol- Voldemort, Voldemort. Voldemort, Maryland. But I don't know, that's kind of cool and then like Maryland and then it's kind of how far is it from Philadelphia? Oh. Yeah, you're like saying this as like, all right, I'm going to go do that, and then I'm going to go to all these cities. <laughs> yeah, like just so that I can like bear my life. But yeah, it's not so bad. That's pretty good. How far is Voldemort from Richmond, Virginia? Yeah, like you need to know where that is. It's three hours. That's that's pretty good, guys. Listen, guys, to, if I'm, I'm being honest, that's pretty good. Then how far is it from Charlotte, North Carolina? Because that's where Sarah's family lives. That's about six and a half hours, almost seven. I mean, yeah. I hate that. uh, Up till now, 
that drive is like almost like 13 hours if you wanted to do it straight, which I never do. There you go, dude. If you lived in Baltimore, Maryland, you could uh, get there in seven hours. I don't know what the good fuck I would do in Baltimore, though. They have a cool, like, harbor, like, dock, like, like situation. Baltimore. Um, you can work at the aquarium, dude. The aquarium's so sick there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeding to a bunch of penguins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then for one time, like, because you're, you're the penguin guy, right? You feed the penguins, but then the shark guy calls out, so then you got to go feed the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> and like, <laughs> like a, yeah, the- Eric goggles and like foot flippers, and I have like a bucket, and I'm just like in the water. <laughs> <laughs> and they immediately tear you apart. <laughs> oh shit! I can work for the guy. You go what? I could be a special agent for the Veter- Federal Bureau of Investigation in Baltimore, Maryland. They make. Oh, yeah, dude. You could be special do- agent Hernandez living in Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> they work, live, they work six, $67,000 a year to $87,000. You got to do You probably just got to like go through an extensive background. <laughs> well, well like, you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Special, yeah, you speak in your um, microphone. Special agent Hernandez from Baltimore speaking. Um, I don't know. Put down the put down the stuff. Put down all the stuff. <laughs> put down the stuff. Put down all the stuff. I'm not fucking around, dude. I, you know what? Like you know Spanish very well. You could be like a translator. You could work for like the FBI as a good translator. I can take down El Chapo. I can. Yeah. They, they yeah, send Chapo. Me over to Juarez, Mexico, and I have to like, I have to like make love to a Mexican drug dealer and like gain his trust. <laughs> and you have, make, you have to make love to a Mexican. Drug dealer. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird, yeah. yeah. Candidates must adhere to strict standards of conduct, undergo a rigorous background investigation, a polygraph. Yeah. Uh. Pass a physical fitness test, uh, pass a medical exam. Um, you do that. You do that. Approximately 19 weeks of employment as a special agent trainee while housed at the FBI Academy at Quantico. That's uh, fucking sick, dude. If you became upon, a special agent. <laughs> <laughs> upon graduation from the FBI Academy. <laughs> To be available to transfer to one of the FBI's 56 field offices, including San Juan, Puerto Rico, or remote resident agencies to meet the needs of the FBI. Special agents rarely return to their processing offices. They rarely come back. That they're <laughs> for and support this move. So it's like you could just, they could just send you fuck knows where. Uh, throughout your career, be available for temporary duty assignments anywhere in the world. Oh shit. 50 hour work week. Uh, be willing and able to participate in arrests, execute search warrants, raids, and similar assignments. Hell yeah. They would, uh, and they would always say, You're doing this for your country, cadet. And you'd be like, Yes, Captain. Sounds good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to be, Captain. <laughs> uh, you should, you should literally apply for that, even if it's a joke. Just yeah. apply to be a special agent. Um, but they're definitely going to ask you, because I know for, like, Johnny, when he was doing, like, the state troopers, they always ask about, like, have you ever done illicit drugs? And yada, yada, yada. And if you do that, I think they're pretty, like, apprehensive at choosing, but I don't I don't know. I've never done these tests, so I couldn't. Your, your Honor, I have smoked marijuana. Get out of my office. Get the F out of my office, cadet. I could be a music instructor. I could be a, yeah. a music instructor. I could be a music instructor in Maryland. As what? At where? I could be a secret service criminal investigator. Wait, uh, so there's there's secret service investigator and then there's special agent in between that as music instructor? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the uh, music instructor? Is that also the FBI? <laughs> yeah, part-time music instructor for the FBI. No, just like 
<laughs> it's at the School of Rock in Maryland. Oh, dude, do that. <laughs> be the School of Rock teacher. Oh, shit. I could be an English teacher in South Korea. That's pretty cool. You could live in Seoul. Great class. 1700 and 2400 a month. Now, I'm going to be honest with all of you. You all can't speak English, and I'm just sitting here going to play movies so I can make money. So uh, here's Stand By Me, or whatever that Stand and Deliver. Is that the, the movie with the teacher? Like, he goes into the hard, like, inner city, like, classroom, and he, like, changes their lives. Stand and Deliver. Yeah. How do I get to these kids? <laughs> I make them understand. Uh, you okay? So the Korea teacher is commitment to a one-year contract. You have to have a bachelor's degree. In what? In English? Just a bachelor's degree from an accredited university, which I have. Entry level yeah. monthly ranges from two million to two point eight million Korean won. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You could be a, a millionaire there. <laughs> well, two point eight. Oh, you're rich. <laughs> Korean. Juan to USD. Is... Hey, Sarah, I'm moving to South Korea for one year teaching English to students. I'll be back. Bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. Holy shit. That'd be insane, dude. I like Korea. I mean, I like Korean food. Uh, yeah, so why wouldn't you like the country? <laughs> yeah. Why I, love, I love their barbecue chips. <laughs> Wait, what? I love their barbecue chips, so... Uh, probably just I had good green wagyu barbecue chips and i liked it a lot i fucking loved it uh-oh my neighbor's calling me oh uh, that's okay dude he's probably asked me about um i think he wanted to help me do like my air compressor maybe More i'll call him. uh paid vacation flight reimbursement so they pay for your flight uh Housing provided, depending on contract. Con contract. If the housing is not provided, employee will receive a higher salary. Eight to 12 students. Forever. Wow. This could be fun. But you live in Korea, though. What do you, or South Korea. What were you, uh, how would we do the podcast, dude? You'd be like... All right, this is my class behind me. We're teaching. Say hi to Aaron, class. Anaseo. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to do this for an hour. These kids are just going to watch. <laughs> These adults are going to watch. Let's talk about butthole. Can we all say butthole? <laughs> <laughs> Can we all say butthole? <laughs> Can we all say butthole? <laughs> I love that. Anaseo. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Is this going to affect it if I go outside? Let's see. How's this feel? It's like 70 degrees outside, baby girl. Little little guy. They're looking fun. All right. I, I applied to the Korea job. <laughs> Hell yeah. Did you just send them your resume and everything? Yeah, it's on Indeed. That's badass. <laughs> They're probably looking for people to do it. That's why they still have like openings. Director of Development at Habitat for Humanity, Susquehanna. That could be a fun game. We just like go on Indeed and just apply for random jobs and see what we get. Yeah. What's this? We well, seek like a director of development. A director of development? You must oh. implement activities allowing the agency to strive to give low-income families in Hartford and Cecil County safe and affordable housing. Uh, okay, no, because I don't know how to do this stuff. I don't know how to do any of that. Here, I'll, I'll look for seconds. Let's see. Night trash collector. <laughs> I can do that. I can pick up trash at night. <laughs> 17 bucks an hour. Hell, dude, you don't even got to pay me for that. I'll just go to people's houses and steal their trash. Yeah, I kind of look through it and take stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just <laughs> say the interview. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, yeah. you can't. <laughs> oh, but wait. I... Oh, you are breaking up a little bit. Maybe I should be. Oh. 
You should be a cop. Yeah. Do you think like a cop? No. I, I would be a bat. You'd be a bat cop. A B-A-T I, cop. <laughs> be a bat cop. I would be a bat. <laughs> You basically just be Batman, but like you're wearing a copy form. You get like, I don't know, you get um, with your police hat, but you cut holes in it so that you could look like you're wearing a mask and you're, you act like Batman, but you're a cop. Call me I'm Bat ba- Cop. Yeah, please. Police. Police. Call me Bat Cop. Police. I'm Bat Cop. Yeah, you like, I don't know. You do whatever Batman does, but dress up as a police officer and you have like a gun on you. I mean, I would love, I mean, because I'll be honest, I'm not, so I, I've had like a little realization as of yesterday that maybe I don't want to do real estate, like either at all. I mean, I never really wanted to, but I don't yeah. know that I for the guy who I've been doing it with. Oh, no. No. He really wants to be a monster, dude. Um, he's more like. He's like, um, he's super like anal and nitpicky. Mm. He's like me, uh, kind of like yesterday, like something happened that was so small, but it really got on my nerves. It was like, I was on his computer and he was like, okay, let's take some of these addresses down. And the mouse, the cursor was on uh, one button, but he wanted it on another button. But what we were doing was just looking at the screen and writing down the information on a piece of paper. So the mouse, it doesn't matter where the mouse is. You know what I mean? Matters. Can you see what you're trying to copy on the screen? And like, you can see it. You can see the whole row of information. He wanted to take down a row of information and I had the mouse to the right and he wanted it on top of the very thing he was going to copy. He was like, He's like, no, this one. I'm like, well, we can see it. Yes, but over here. And he like made me put the mouse on top of that. And he didn't click. He didn't need to click. He just wanted the mouse on top of it. And then, because he's physically writing something down. And then he went, okay, now let's go to the next one. And he moved the mouse to the next one. Not to click, just to leave it. Yeah. And. Like, I almost, like, flipped out. I was, like, I was very calm, but I was, like, this is, excuse me, internet. I know I'm going to get canceled, but that is retarded. That was stupid. As- That's like, ridiculous. No, that was ridiculous. Like, what? <laughs> and yeah, then, because like, breathing- he's pointing it on there. That's interesting. Yeah. OCD? Then, he was breathing down my neck about, like, you don't say that. And I'm, like, okay. Like, <laughs> I didn't. He was like, he was like getting energized at me. And then, so I'm starting to realize that like, he's, he's too much. And I, I actually, I'm like pretty confident. I don't want to move forward with him. Um, I like, if it has to be real estate, I'll just find someone else, someone and somewhere else. Um, well, that's a good thing. You realized it now, man. Yeah. I guess you could imagine like what happened to the other people that worked with him. I guess that could be the reason they're just like, this guy is too much. Well, like, there's another guy that I've met on that floor who, his name is Billy. He's, like, uh, he's just, like, this guy and, you know, an adult. And uh, An adult uh, guy. He, he, like, works on the floor. And apparently, I think I gathered that he only worked with this guy for, like, a couple of months. Like, Hmm. a handful of months he worked with him, and now he doesn't. And, I, you know, you got to ask, why? Why did he stop for you why would anyone stop working for you why are you in a position where you need help you know you might you might be ridiculous to work for you know hey. so. calling it how it is man i hope you you know he's not going to see this but that'd be insane if you saw this where's <laughs> what <laughs> where is he oh man I think Robbie Rom, Rombie will be home soon. So I'm just um, chilling out. You're applying to all these cool jobs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, communications manager. I can just manage communications. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I could, I could just do that. I could, I could definitely just do that. I so, like, what just, do you? You want me? Yeah. To I could just do that. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing else. Like, can I just? Can I just please just do that? And that's my job. Manage just communications. That doesn't sound hard. No. Nah. Video rentals. Right. I could work at a rental house. A rental house? Yeah. How much and is what, seven? It says seven to eight hundred dollars a week. Let's take out the calculator real quick. That's pretty good. Eight hundred dollars times four, thirty two hundred a month. That's a lot, man. And so that's shy of forty thousand a year. What would you do? Like a, what do you mean a rental house? Someone comes out and said, Hey, can I can I rent this camera for three days? And I'm like, beep. You know. Like, can you get eight hundred dollars a week for that? Damn. I guess you also gotta know like what they're you're talking about. It's like, hey, can you tell me about that camera? What that one right there? Oh uh, <laughs> you like read from the box. It says it has 10 times zoom in function, HD, 4K. Uh, do you want me to keep going? <laughs> need I say more? <laughs> yeah. Need I say more on your purchase, sir? <laughs> or ma'am? Whatever you like, you know what I mean? I don't want to be, you know, whatever. I don't want to be here, you know? <laughs> Listen, I'm just trying cool. to be like a monkey in a rental house. Like, I've got, like, old school headphones on and, like, a CD, like a dick man. And I'm just yeah. like, I'm just like grooving and stuff. I got sweatbands on. <laughs> you're, at the front, you're at the front register. A whole line is waiting for you to like, <laughs> to start like working, but you're just like dancing and grooving. Yeah. That'd be pretty good. That would be good. And you're just like smoking <laughs> weed in there. <laughs> yeah. Pick up like a camera, just reeks of pot. And I'm just yeah. like sitting there. Well, what, uh, how, how come, how come I help you? <laughs> how, how come, how come I help you? <laughs> oh man, that's such a cool job. It'd be a cooler job if you're the guy that like, like has to go out to retrieve the rentals. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to pick up, yeah, I'm here to pick up the camera you rented out from us three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Blow smoke in their face. <laughs> There's be a pizza delivery guy. Yeah, you ordered a you ordered a pizza here. No, you ordered a pizza here. You ordered a pizza here, or uh, or did I? Hey, yeah. Which what happened? And they're like, I don't even see a pizza here. Oh yeah, it's because I ate all of most of it. Um, can I get pizza now? Can I get pizza now? Yeah, and you. <laughs> And you don't have a car and you only have a bike, but you trade in your bike to get like an electric motorized like scooter that they drive when they deliver the food. And like even in the summer, like you put the like you put your hands in the gloves and just drive it. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. It's just like having a J in your mouth, like <laughs> Damn. That could be cool. cool. Yeah. I talked to a guy, um, I think I was like hanging out by um, like where the Intrepid is, like where the docks are at. And the guy was telling me, he's like, yeah, like I make a lot of money here in the city from doing uh, Grubhub. Like I'm on a bike all day. For Bud Light. Was that? You could work for the, Bud Light? No, I got a call back for Bud Light. Yes, King. So that means it's like a, a second. It's almost like a second interview, right? Like they're gonna ask you to do some more stuff. Oh shit! It's in. Person. Like, it's in Burpsum. It's in Burpsum. Oh shit! They gotta look at my dick, and it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! My. my height. <laughs> I do. I do one of these like. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> It's just here. I have to answer within 24 hours, and then the next day I got to show them my dick. How am I going to get it bigger and do it? <laughs> you got to see my dick tomorrow, and it's like only four inches. It's got to be five. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. So you do everything you can to like get it bigger. Um, has that been an hour? <laughs> yeah, it's fifty-five minutes. All right, I'm gonna. I'll. We'll call up and maybe we'll uh, do something else to Marlo, my man. Marlo, yeah. So you know what I'm gonna do here. Everyone's gonna hear this live, but this is the new strategy. We're not editing these until Aaron edits them into edits them. Until Aaron edits them into like little tiny bite-sized cl- clops. Little bite-sized uh, pieces. Yeah. So I'm going to schedule this for uploading now, but goodbye. Oh, goodbye, my man. Good luck. Bye.